You can never have enough money in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I mean, you need this for many different things. For example, increase your backspace, get your hands on new resources to craft new Pokeballs to continue your hunt. And what's also something what you need all the time is experience. Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam and in today's Arceus video, I'm going to show you a super simple method to get your hands on all the money you need in Arceus. And of course, also a lot of experience so you can evolve all your Pokemon in no time. Let's get right to it. Alright, so here we are in Jubilife Village. This is a method which you can do early game, by the way, and it's hands down the easiest way to get tons and tons of credits so you can constantly upgrade your backspace, of course, get your hands on new resources to craft new Pokeballs, etc, etc. So what you want to do right now is search for an area where you want to farm on. Basically, this can be any area, even the Obsidian Fieldlands for early game people, but um, I recommend you to go for an area where you can also find resources which you need or can catch even more Pokemon to make this farm so much more efficient. I'm gonna go with the Cobalt Coastlands because I am currently running low on raspberries and I know quite some locations where I can get them. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, of course, get our hands on those Pokemon, which we want to let evolve as quick as possible. So we've got some uh, level three to level five Pokemon right now and um, we can start farming. Okay, so now that we have all the Pokemon with us, which we want to power level, you can hop on Weird Ear, explore the area, get your hands on resources which you need, or catch new Pokemon which you don't have yet. But very important, you want to focus on catching as many Alpha Pokemon as possible. It's actually extremely easy, but basically, if we open up the map right here, near Ginkgo Landing, we will always find this Wall Rain. Some Pokemon will always spawn every single time when you enter a certain region, and this guy can always be found on this very place. If you catch or defeat Alphas, they will actually give you a lot of experience and they will also drop an item which you can sell for a great deal of money. So what we're going to do right now is throw in a Raspberry. By the way, guys, I already made a guide on how to catch Alpha Pokemon very easily. It's at the top right of the screen, but basically a Raspberry makes it a lot easier to catch these fellas. And you're going to also throw in a cake, which the specific Pokemon likes. For example, this is a water Pokemon. He loves to eat bean cakes. And um, right now, all we need to do is get out one of our balls and as you can see we currently get a green light so it is going to be extremely easy to catch this alpha pokemon of course you can always defeat it with a pokemon with uh, for example electricity but right now look at all those levels our pokemon just got so um our pokemon went from level three to five to level 17 and higher with one single catch or after defeating one alpha pokemon and he also dropped a seed of mastery this one can be used to master a move but it also sells for a lot of money so you definitely want to keep it because it is extremely valuable sometimes they will also drop other things like rare candies and the funny thing is right next to this Walrein, which is an alpha Pokemon, we have another alpha Pokemon, which can be found exactly right here. Look at that, there he is. Look at that, Drapion level 45 caught, experience candy M. This time, an experience candy, and as you can see, we level up extremely fast, so you can just sell this one for a lot of money. So that's already two alpha Pokemon right next to each other. The second was right here, and this is the place where you found the first one. So right now, what you can do is just travel back to Jubilife Village, go back to this place, and they should be right here once again. You can defeat them, you can catch them for even more rewards. And the cool thing is, after catching these two alpha Pokemon, we will also get a reward before we travel back to Jubilife Village. So right here, we can see the summary. So we just do Pokemon caught another 5,000 credits, which we get our hands on for this survey, which is really nice. Okay, so we've got the vendor right here. We're gonna sell our Seed of Mastery for 3,000. And then right here, we have an Experience Candy M for 1,500. So that's another almost 5,000 credits after beating or catching these two alpha Pokemon. It took us one minute and we got 10,000 credits. All right, so I went to the Cobalt Coastlands one more time and look at that. Right in front of us, we actually have another alpha Pokemon. And this one is a random spawn, but basically if you catch them, they will also give you these valuables. Right here though, we should be able to find our wall rain once again. Hey, yeah, boy, there he is. And look at that, another wall rain catch. And look at all those leveling up on the left. So we caught an alpha starly, an alpha wall rain, and we got almost 4,000 credits for this report. For the people who are still very early in the game, right here we can find an alpha rapidash, which is only a couple clicks away from the starting camp. Throwing the Ultra Ball on the back of his head. And look at that, Rapidash caught, leveling up all our Pokemon once again. 
And to the southeast of the camp, you can also find an Alpha Snorlax. You've probably already seen this big boy, but he is right here. Followed up with an Ultra Ball on the rear, you can tell that it is an easy catch. And look at all those levels and masteries once again. After doing this for a while, I got my hands on 20 M candies, 4 L candies, 12 S candies, and also 10 seeds of mastery. We currently have 42,000 credits. Let's see how much we have if we sell every single one of them. So look at all that money, guys. We went from 42 to 125,000 credits. So now I will have enough to upgrade my bags and get my hands on resources, which I need to craft new Pokeballs, smoke bombs, and whatnot. So as you can see, we got our hands on a ton of money. You can also get a lot of experience with this very method. You can master the moves of your Pokemon while catching or defeating the Alpha Pokemon. So definitely make sure to check out this tactic. Of course, if you farm for a certain Alpha with, for example, a Fire type and you have a Water Starter, it's gonna be even easier to do this method, especially early game. So the guys, there is pretty much everything you need to know. If you enjoyed watching this video, if it was helpful, definitely make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out big time. And of course, if you are new right here, don't hesitate to subscribe. There is so much more coming your way. And of course, it is entirely free. Guys, a big thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care. Peace.